immediate takeaways? Um, I thought today was one of our longer practices based on the, uh, the, you know, the league calendar. So we were out there, uh, a little longer than we have been. I thought, you know, we got a lot of good red zone work done. Um, so overall, uh, you know, I thought we handled the heat pretty well. Um, there'll be a lot of film, you know, for us to get on some of the corrections and, uh, uh, but I thought overall coming away from it, th th there was some good work. Yeah. Sean, do you see a comfort level with Jared Cook yeah, being in the second season in this system? Do you, do you kind of see that in, in this training camp? Yeah, look, there's two things that come come to mind for me with, with him. Um, number one, I think for a player of his experience and his years in the league, I think he's in outstanding shape. He, he's got very good stamina, and, and I think that's, uh, that served him well as a player. And then secondly, um, yeah, clearly he's got a real good grasp as to what we're doing and the confidence that uh, that Drew has with some of the you know some of the details in the passing game, and then also how he's handling the running game. Uh, he, he's been he's been playing well. Sean, we have a couple of practices in the books now uh, with Sheldon. Um, how, how do you think he's kind of bounced back from uh, from the disappointing end of last year? I, look, I think well. Um, you know, he's someone that. Uh, Spent a ton of time in his rehab, and uh, you know he's he's always been a real smart and instinctive player. And, and the key is just getting his his you know body body back to football shape and uh, his conditioning level and his strength. And, and I think we've seen that, and, and that's continuing to to come still. Hey, Sean, I don't uh, know if you were asked this earlier or not, but did you all even thought about having any kind of hurricane plan in case this thing comes our way? Yeah, look and. We have Mickey and I've talked for the last, I'd say, three days. Um, this isn't the first time that this is something we've dealt with. Uh, at times, you know, we, we have a plan in place, and, and look, if it's something that we need to execute, we will. Um, so we're, we're monitor, monitoring, you know, both those uh, tropical storms right now, and, and then uh, we'll pay, pay close attention to them. Sean, when Sheldon is healthy, what are the things that stand out about what he adds to the adds to the defense? I think he's a real good leverage player. I, I think uh, he he gives you, um, I think, good pass rush from a in, in inside tackle position. I think he's got good hips and movement skills. Uh, he's smart, so you know when he when he's playing at full speed, he he gives you an added uh, added rush threat from an inside position, and, and I think we've seen that, and we've benefited from that. Uh, shoot, I think of two years ago when he was really having one of his best seasons. So um, I, I think that's something that he excels at. Sean, what kind of growth have you seen from uh, Deontay Harris as a receiver from last year to, to now? Quite a bit. Um, he's one of those players that is uh, – a little bit more mature beyond his years. I mean, as you're around him, he, he's from for someone who's come from such a small program. Um, you know, he can pick things up very quickly, retain them, and then take them to the field. And it's just us to, up to us now, really, to to continue to build and have packages for him and, and get him more involved offensively, uh, as well as in the kicking game. But uh, he is a smart player, and, and there's a uh, maturity to his game that that's very impressive. Look, I think it's a great question. Um, I don't think it, it's it's really altered the plans. You know, we've communicated with the league office in the event that we w we would have to do something, um, and they understand, uh, you know, some of the nuances that that would be involved with, you know, leaving and, and setting up camp somewhere else. the The good news is, you know, generally speaking, it wouldn't be for a long period of time, uh, but it happened again. It I think I forget the year Gustav came through, and and that was that was the week before we opened the season, and we were playing Tampa at home that year. Uh, so, 
you know, we have a plan in place. Uh, the league's been notified. Um, we'll just monitor both of these storms and, uh, and, and kind of go from there. What have you seen from uh, Joe Bocci in these first couple practices? Look, he's someone that, that I think uh, is pretty active. He's, he's got good football IQ. Um, he's one of those players that we're going to have to, as best we can, get special team snaps out here, see how he does in, in that role. Um, that's going to be important. But, uh, yeah, there, there's uh, certainly some instincts that you feel with that player. All right, thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach.